the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Praise the Lord, dear uh, friends. And uh, today, I want to continue where I left yesterday, uh, verse 25. I want to do it, verse 26. Uh, the result of praise, the outcome of praise. Uh, and uh, look with me in Acts 16, verse 26. Suddenly there was an earthquake so violent that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were unfastened. This is, uh, is happening when St. Paul and uh, Silas are praising God at midnight, uh, worshipping and suddenly there is an earthquake, uh, their chains fall down, the doors open. So what it signifies is a change of atmosphere. When you praise God, God's presence fills uh, the uh, fills your heart and fills uh, the surroundings. And when God comes, everything changes. The, he comes with His glory, the glorious presence of the Lord, uh, filling your heart uh, that is in pain, that is in sorrow, that is in uh, that is sick uh, and broken. Uh, God's presence uh, fills it, and when that happens, everything, whatever is blocked. Uh, is removed uh, and whatever addictions you have whatever is holding you down is broken and the doors open uh, and uh, everything is changing An earthquake uh, happens and it, it shifts things so in your life also things begin to move and people begin to move and there will be a paradigm shift in your life uh, if you are a praiser if you start praising in those situations uh, where you cannot praise God. So that's important. Uh, it's easy to praise God when everything is there, but in pain, in sorrow, uh, it's really difficult. Uh, however, if you praise God, then uh, things change and uh, God will open a door for you. God will bless you. There will be a breakthrough. And so uh, let's praise God and uh, in all circumstances and may the Lord bless you. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.